We've already seen the role that wetlands and that the kind of ground cover and the importance of keeping permeable ground cover has in preventing flooding events. However, in some places, we've already covered our grounds with parking lots and replacing them might not be possible throughout our watershed. What we've done in some different areas is create structures that also help prevent that flow of water and really help to slow down water and protect our existing infrastructure and houses. One of these kinds of structures is essentially a wall that we build to protect against the high rising levels of floods. This is called a dike and we might have noticed some in downtown London, the West London Dike. It uh, flows along the Thames River and that's been designed to protect houses that lie behind that barrier. We're going to add in a dike to our model right here by putting down this wall of clay that will protect this house and also if there were other houses behind this house they would be protected by this as well. Okay, we've got that in there. But this alone, this won't slow down the flow of water. We'll still have those fast rushing waters flowing through. And this is where the role of a dam can come in. So our dam we're going to build closer up to the front here. And instead of letting lots of water flow through all at once, we're actually only going to create a small hole. We have a few dams on the Thames River and we can control the amount of water that we let flow through the dam at any given time by opening and closing the different gates. Today, because we know that we have our two liter rainstorm coming, we're going to close most of our gates and only leave a very small opening. So once again, we're going to do our same experiment with our parking lot ground cover again. We have our two liters of water and this time what we're hoping to notice is that this dam will hold back some of the water. We might actually have some flooding or create a reservoir behind the dam where we create and we store that water until it can be slowly released into the rest of the river without causing damage. Alright, our water is in and we'll notice we have this large reservoir behind the dam where the water is being held back so that it goes through much more slowly throughout our river. It's still not doing quite as good of a job as our wetland did, but thankfully we've also built our dike here. So this is protecting some of these low-lying houses. Eventually our reservoir will slowly drain into the river and we'll be left with the same amount of water that we poured in, similar to when we used just our parking lot without our structures on the river.